Hello, and welcome to Crafts by Gemmaco. I'm Gemma. Today I will be showing you how to make this beautiful bracelet. To make this bracelet you will need some waxed cord in any colour that you want, some beads, I'm using my paper beads, some personalised metal um, blanks which have been stamped with uh, whatever you want it to say, the charm of your choice and attach all of those with a jump, uh, jump ring. You need an extra jump ring and also you need four crimping beads. So let's get started. So first of all, I've already attached one um, crimp bead to this so that it will stop the, it's about in the middle, so that it will stop the beads from going any further and stop them moving around. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is find the longest end. This side, I'm going to attach the four two beads followed by the crimp bead with um, which has got eyelets on the ends so you place that around the around the middle after you've put the two beads in grip it slightly and then with a pair of uh, jewellery pliers squeeze it closed and then attach the last two beads So it's like that. Now to um, the middle hook, the middle uh, eyelet there that you can see, you're going to attach the last remaining jump ring that we have. You need to grab your pliers and open it, twist it sideways, never open it um, by pulling it apart, you always twist it sideways. And then I'm going to attach my I'm going to attach my metal tags there. With the charm. And then close it up. That's how the charm will look. Like that, and then you grab one more crimp bead and place it on the end there so that it doesn't, so that all the, um, it all stays in the middle like that. So you're left with this lovely bracelet with the charm and everything that you need there. And we've got left two crimp beads. So then what you want to do is grab a ruler and measure about most bracelets are about six inches. So if we put it like that so put that in the middle so this is about how big you want your bracelet to be but you want it for this bracelet you want to make it a bit wider so move it so you hold the bracelet so that there's a little X in the middle 
so it crosses over at a width that you can fit your wrist through and then you make to do the first side we're going to take the free end there loop it back and then hold the loop and the actual um, and the actual cord then we're going to loop it back around and through the middle four times and then when you've got the four let it loosen a bit actually I've only done three it doesn't really matter three or four and feed it through uh, back through the middle of all of these loops like that and pull it pull it tight so that it makes a knot like that that's very neat and you can you can pass the rest of the cord through it so it is adjustable and then that's that side done. And then we move on to the other side. Like this. And we're going to do the same thing. You have to match whatever you did on one side to the other. It's for my sister, and I know that she's got quite a small wrist, so I'm just going to check. Yeah. And then with the ends, grab your scissors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach so it looks a bit nicer. I'm going to attach a crimp bead here when it's where it's supposed to be. Um, and that will also stop the knot pulling out. So I just fold it with my fingers and then tighten it with the... Uh, Lovely adjustable bracelet, which is personalised.
Thanks for watching.